The first spots I'm going to mention are locations that are already known by large groups of people, but I still want to go over them. First, you can get on top of every single one of these small towers. As they leave you pretty exposed, I only recommend you use these with either a cheap gear set or when it's dark. When it's dark, it can be pretty fun to chill on these with a thermal. Another spot is this tower here. This is the only large tower you can get on top of, and it provides you with a solid vantage point. To get on the tower, you're going to want to jump on these pieces of sheet metal that stand up, and to jump onto the roof, you're going to need to back up a little bit and then walk forward and then jump. Just like the small towers though, this spot does leave you very exposed, so I recommend once again only using either a cheap gear set or a thermal when it's really dark out. The final spot that is more well known is the secondary roof of Black Knight. To get up there, you're going to want to jump on top of these sandbags. Then, you can slide under this tarp and have a solid vantage point everywhere you look. These next spots are ones that I found myself, so they shouldn't be known by as many people. First, we have the tents inside the gym in Queen Building. These spots give you a solid vantage point out on the road, allowing you to see when someone comes in. Very few people look on top of the tents, so they are a good place to hide or ambush someone. The windows behind you are covered with netting, making them hard to see through. This netting also heavily reduces the damage of bullets, so I don't recommend shooting through it. Next, we have the area on top of the garages next to White Knight. Due to the distance and height of this jump, I do highly recommend you pop a painkiller before you do it, just in case you break your legs. This area can give you a good vantage point on the road near Hermetic Switch and also the field behind you. The vents allow you to conceal yourself and people will rarely notice you. If you jump up here, I recommend dropping your backpack to reduce your profile. Keep in mind that I have a strength level of 13 and I barely make it. Any less, and you might not make the jump. Then, we are able to get on top of the Mark Room building by Train Yard. It is easily the hardest spot to get into, so I do recommend practicing in an offline raid. You won't, but, you know, I still recommend it. This spot gives a good angle on the K buildings, the hills, and the train yard. It is also less obvious than going into the tower. Next, we have the spots in the scaffolding and train yard. To get to the scaffolding, you're going to want to run along this roof and then slide through this empty window. This spot will give you a solid vantage point into the fields to your right, the scav tower, and the night building. If you want to be cheeky and camp the train building, this spot gives you a good view of the common entrances as well as a good view of marked room and the tower outside it. It's also concealed and very few people tend to look here. This spot will give you a solid vantage point onto the bunker hills as well as into the tower and near the marked room. This spot is less useful and more just funny. You can get atop this door near the D2 switch. It serves as a pretty good spot to surprise people as well as offers a place that is unreachable to ensure stuff. Just be sure not to fall into the hole, otherwise it is literally impossible to escape. Another spot that you can hide in, or camp if you know someone is coming, is this shelf in the underground area. The only thing you have to worry about is the door across the tunnel, which you can easily close. Otherwise, it gives you a nearly complete view of this underground area, and very few people will notice you because, again, why the hell would you be up there? 
Finally, we have two spots that I don't recommend camping because A, you'd be a jerk, and B, shooting through things in Tarkov sucks. But if you want to hide for a bit, they are very solid. These spots are behind the cages in the bunkers with sealed doors. And believe it or not, both of them have crates that are lootable. I'm not sure if Nikita and his crew meant for players to be able to get back here, or if they were just lazy and couldn't be bothered to find the proper non-lootable crate, so they just slapped down a lootable one. Either way, they're there for you. That is going to do it for this video. If you would like another video that has a bunch of good reserve spots, but also some good escape routes in the event you get trapped on the roof of a building or something, I recommend checking out the video I have in the description. If you liked this video and found some of the spots useful, please do consider leaving a like. If you enjoy my content on a regular basis, please do consider subscribing. Finally, if you would like another video like this, please leave a comment and let me know. With all that out of the way, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.